Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Today we are making pear sauce. You've heard of applesauce, right? We're doing it with pears, okay? My parents had a tree up in New Hampshire that needed to be trimmed, and there was a ton of pears on it, and blah, blah, blah. Next thing you know, we had a lot of pears. So, real quick, you see this bucket here, okay? Just for size comparison, you know, it's probably two good hands high and two good hands across. And, well, between the two, we had two buckets, three quarters full. So we had probably one and a half buckets of pears. Well, we had to let them ripen. It took about three weeks. And then once they ripened, um, we're, we're deciding what to do with them. You know, what do we do? It's a lot of pears. Uh, we thought about canning them. We thought about fruit dicing and freezing. But the reality is, what are we really going to use pears for? Not much. Pears, other than as a tasty occasional hand fruit, there's not much we do with it. So we chose to turn it into pear sauce. Okay? So we're going to flip that around. Pear sauce. See, it's all it's starting to reduce down. With good consistency. Okay? Now what the pear sauce consists of is simply pears, water, and sugar. So the ratio is six cups of pears to a half a cup of water to two tablespoons of sugar. We like to use brown sugar. We feel it gives a, a better depth of flavor. You can season it with whatever you want afterwards, whether it's cinnamon or nutmeg or allspice or cloves. or If you want to go savory, you can use mint and rosemary to season it um uh some fresh thyme if you and some lemon zest you, you can do a lot of different things with this um when we're done with it it's going to go through a mill and the mill looks like this okay now the mill's dirty because we did mill some of what was already in the pot so that way the rest would fit in and the goal is to you see how it's kind of slanted Okay, like that. The goal is in here, and you turn this crank, this crank here, and you turn it around in a clockwise direction, and push the fruit through these holes. And when it gets too clogged, you back it up, and it pulls everything off the bottom. Okay, and then you do it again. And once you have just skins or flesh that won't go through the holes anymore, you dump it out, and you start all over. That's a mill. It's called a food mill, okay? Um, a lot of people use that for tomato sauce or jellies or applesauce. Well, we're going to do it for pear sauce, okay? Over here, just occasionally, we're going to give it a quick stir. Help, help the, uh, the pears break down. You can see where the skins are just kind of starting to just hang out. Well, that's fine. You know, the goal is to break this down as much as we can. This is a four gallon pot. It's broken up into about 16 quarts. And we've got a, on the back over here is, is an actual uh, delineation as far as the size. So it looks like we got about 10 quarts here. Once we cook it down, we'll probably end up with like nine, nine and a half quarts. They're all gonna go into Ziploc bags once it's cooled down uh, and we have done the final seasoning. Um, so Ziploc bags, it's going to go in the freezer. We'll keep some. We'll give some to my, my brother and his wife down in uh, the southern Connecticut. Uh, give some to my parents, whose tree it was. And we'll be able to take care of that. So pear sauce. That's what we're doing today. At least for right now. We might be doing... Um, I've got dinner to make. That's uh, spaghetti squash and bunch of vegetables and stuff might do something about that later but uh, we also have green tomato salsa to make and can and that'll either be today or tomorrow and we'll probably do a little little video for you guys for that too okay so again pear sauce that's what we're doing today enjoy folks